Hello everyone, my name is Martina Graham and I will be sharing with you how to create a customized poster using PosterMyWall.com. Once you have arrived at the site, you can begin creating your design by clicking here. And if you notice, there will be several different templates that you can choose from. When I use this with my students, we typically use the educational templates that are available. And once you click on that, you'll notice that even more designs will come up for you to choose from. So I'm going to click on this one for the purposes of this assignment because it is asking me to reflect on the practices that I use within my content area. And it already has these preloaded text box. So it makes it easier for me to change the text. And all I would do in order to change the text is I would simply double click on the information that I'd like to change, highlight it, press backspace, and I'd insert the information that I'd like. So one of the questions asked what type of literacy um, is used within the content area that I teach. So um, one thing that we do is read informational and fictional text. So then I would just go back and fix any errors that I have and it's just that simple. You just simply double click on the things that you would like to change. So I want to change this to maybe ELA poster and it's just that simple. So if I wanted to change the picture I could double click on the picture. I could add a photo. I could change that to a text box, add clip art, change the background, undo anything that I've done or redo um, something that I've already completed. So once I have finished my poster, then I'm going to click on share. And for you, if this is your first time using this website, it's going to ask you to create a free account. But I've already created the free account, so then it brought me to this particular screen. So I'm going to click on share your design online. And I'm going to go all the way down to where it says grab the link or HTML code. And in order to copy and paste the link, I would just simply highlight the link to this design. And then I'm going to right click and I'm going to click copy. And then once I have copied the link, I'm ready to paste the link. And it's just that simple. Um, I hope you found this helpful. And if you have any questions, please feel free to email me. Thank you.